another econometrics tutorial. Uh, this time we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of R and Stata with some of the very, very basic commands. Uh, the idea being you may be well versed in one of those programs and branching out learning the other. Uh, I recently uh, have done this, right? So I've been using and teaching in Stata for decades because I'm super old. Uh, and it's been uh, really useful now to branch out and start doing the same things in R. Uh, and the way I learned it is basically the, what we see right here is just having both of the platforms open at the same time and running through how I what I know in Stata and then replicating it in R. Um, so I'm not going to try to answer the question, you know, which is better or, or which one should you use. Um, but the more the more platforms, you know, the better off you're going to be. So in each of the cases, so we'll have R here on the the left obviously overlapping. Uh, in both cases we'll bring up a data set from the Wooldridge textbook uh, and then just do some real basic graphics, uh, summary statistics, and then run a simple multiple regression. Okay. So in R, uh, so as data we have the add do file, right? the typically user uh, written programs. In R of course we have our library of packages that do basically the same thing, right? Uh, so in this case, we're going to install the package Wooldridge, which will give us access to those Wooldridge textbooks data sets. So if you haven't done this already, so we'll just go install dot packages, and we'll spell it correctly. And Wooldridge, I'm not going to do this. I've already installed it here, so it's going to look for it and tell us that it already exists. So it's going to update that. Uh, then we're going to open that up. So library parentheses Wooldridge. That's fine. And then we want to call up one of our data sets. So once we have that library open, you type in data. And each of these is a different file data frame, as it were, and we want to call up one of our favorite example data sets, the wage one data set. Okay. So that's appears up here, and we'll see our individual variables drop in in a second. So now let's switch over to Stata, do the same thing. So we're going to use the, uh, the do file uh, bc use, uh, which again, I've used this many, many times. Uh, on the Boston College website, they house uh, Stata-ready versions of all those Wooldridge data sets. So if you haven't already, we would type in ssc install bc use in Stata. So that's the corollary to the install packages command. Right? So I've already got that installed. Uh, then we want to call up our one wage one data set, so BC use wage one, and there we have it. So here in Stata, we've got all our variables listed, and those are ready to be summoned with our commands. So let's go back to R for a second, and there's one useful command that uh, we want to do before we start to manipulate individual variables, and we want to use the attach command. So we just go attach, and then the name of the data frame, the data file that we just created. So that's going to allow us to call up the variables by name without referring to the data frame. Right? So once we've attached it, then the variable names will be readily accessible here. So while we're in R, typically, right, when you call up a new data set, you want to get to know your data. Uh, so a lot of that's going to be, you know, graphic and, and visual. Uh, information. So you might want to call up the histogram for each of your individual variables. In this case, hourly wage is one of our key variables. So we just type in hist, H-I-S-T, parentheses wage. There's obviously a lot of uh, fancy things we can do with the graphics. That's one of the big benefits of, of R. Uh, we can look at that a different time. But then if we want to do the same thing over in Stata, believe it or not, it's just hist and then the name of the variable. Instead of putting it in parentheses, we just name the variable and 
there is our histogram. Likewise, lots of things we can do to uh, change the, the format of that, of that graphic. Back in R, right, we might want to do a scatter plot. Right? So here we just type in plot, and again, lots of options here. And then the, uh, the ordering of the variables here is X and then Y if we're going to do a simple two-dimensional scatter plot. So if we want to look at the relationship between education and wage, so it's X comma Y within that plot command, and there we have it. And we can do the same thing in Stata using our scatter command. And again, there's lots of different ways we can do this. Um, but here it's Y and then X, so wage education. And there you have the same plot here. Looks pretty similar. And then we also want to get some kind of numerical summary statistics, right? So switching back over to R, say for example, we want to know the average value of wage could not be easier. We just go mean and then the name of the variable. And that'll pop right in here. So the average wage is 5.89. If we wanted to call up just that one specific number in Stata, and there's other ways to do this, but the tab stat command is an easy way to call up specific statistics. So tab stat wage comma stats in parentheses mean so we can call up the mean the mode the coefficient of skewness etc and there we have it in stata if we wanted to get kind of a, a broader range of summary statistics in stata we could use the summarize command so sum or summarize wage and that gives us all of our key information the number of observations the mean the standard deviation the min and the max the closest corollary over in uh, R using the the summary command on an individual variable gives us a little bit different information. So it gives us the min and the max, the mean, uh, but it also gives us uh, some of the distributional information, the first and third quartile. Um, so roughly the same command, a little bit different output. Uh, then finally, let's let's run a regression. Right. So if you're familiar with Stata. The command is just reg, or regress, and then the name of your y variable, in this case wage, and then we just list out, without any punctuation, right, all of our x variables in a multiple regression. So education, experience, for example, and we get all of our familiar regression statistics that we're not going to go into now, but the, the coefficients, the standard errors, the t-stats, the r-squared, the adjusted r-squared, the f-stat, sum of squared residuals, all that good stuff. The regression command in R is going to be a quite a bit different. Right? So the command itself is LM for linear model. And then in parentheses, we basically put in what looks like a, a regression in equation form. So it's the y variable, wage, and you'd like to use the equal sign here, but we use the little squiggle in the upper left. And then our x variables, again, are listed out, but with a plus sign in between them. So wage is a function of education and experience. And we hit enter, and it's a little, a little disappointing, right? So we get our coefficients, so the b0 hat, the intercept, intercept coefficient on education, coefficient on experience. Let's just double check that those match up. Yes, OK, we're in good shape. But we don't get all of the associated hypothesis testing and goodness of fit statistics uh, until we ask R to give us the full summary of that regression. So if we call up that regression command again, we use the up arrow. And then we type in summary and put the whole command in parentheses within that summary call up. Now we get our familiar stuff. So the same coefficients here with the standard errors, the t-stats, the p-values, and our goodness of fit 
information down below. So that's a good start, right? So if you know Stata or you know R, now you can do it both side by side. And the more you do this, the more you see the, the connections between the two. Uh, there's obviously a translation between the two languages, but knowing one makes it a lot easier to know the other. And if you don't know either, well, now you know two, right? So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments and thanks a lot.